Oh! I didn't see that! That second one barely popped up! Alrighty guys, welcome back to Jurassic Park the game where we are going to be picking up where we left off here in episode 3. So yeah, now last time we had just gotten away from the T-Rex and now we're back over here with Oscar where he is stalking the raptors. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I am mashing that furiously. I think it's got Oscar's scent. And of course, these two just walk in here willy, willy nilly, unarmed. Ooh! Stop! It's one of them! I saw eyes. Probably a rat or something. Keep moving. No, I saw eyes just like that before I was beaten. I won't go through that again. Big, shiny eyes? You saw them too? Not here, but yeah. Go on. Get out of here. Come on, we gotta keep moving. No way! Not until I can see where I'm going. Ugh. Okay. We can't go back outside because of our old friend Rexy, but maybe we can get the lights on. It seems like those things, whatever they are, like to stick to the shadows. We're in luck. This looks like a power panel right here. I feel like they're gonna get Oscar killed. <sighs> it's opening up lockers. What's the holdup? It's nothing. It's just a different uh, model than I'm used to, is all. So you're stuck. Yeah. Um, instructions. Why don't you just read the instructions? They're right there, no? Relax. This thing is just a glorified fuse box. Okay. All right, I got it now. Close your eyes. You're about to lose your... Night vision. What's going on? Dad? Over here, Jess. It's all right. The backup generator wasn't meant to last this long, that's all. No, that's not it. We should have been fine for days. How the hell was I supposed to know open meant turn everything off? I mean, it's counterintuitive. It was the red no, button. if you read the instructions. Why don't you yell a little louder? I think there's a dinosaur on the other side of the island that didn't hear you. Jeez. Whatever. There's a close, right? There's a close, right? Yeah, I'll close that crap right up. Yeah, that's right. Who's your... Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> He's not still here, is he? No. From the sound of it, he queued up this last bit of tape and took off. So here's a little something. Get you ready to set sail. Oscar, come on, man. Oh, I dropped my knife! And Oscar's died. I died! Oh. Come on. 
<laughs> Did he just punch the raptor in the face? It's calling for its buddies, Oscar. This show is over. Laura, you are my new favorite person. <laughs> You've forgiven me for fixing the lysine problem? Don't push it. Holy crap, Oscar. Did you just take one of those things out by hand? I see Sleeping Beauty woke up. Did you have to kiss her? I woke up just fine on my own, thanks. Right? You were in that tree the whole time. Of course I was. Hey, <laughs> listen. When I kiss you, you'll remember it. That's never gonna happen. Ah, oh, don't be like that. You're supposed to be at the crash site. Yeah, uh, the plan didn't factor in an angry T-Rex, so we had to change it. I didn't think to engage it in a knife fight, sorry. We had to change the plan. That's right. I unlocked the mystery behind the shaving cream can. Turns out, little Miss Sunshine here is smuggling dino embryos off the island. What? I don't buy it. You don't have the skills to pull off a heist like that. She knows her business, Oscar. You said the same thing about that waitress in Bogota's cooking. That wasn't her fault. That was Seminilla. They're real. My client had someone on the inside, a man named Nedry. He didn't show, so they sent me to find the embryos on the backup plan. Well? Squares with what I know. They're searching San Jose for this Nedry guy. Thought he was on the last boat. They can stop the search. He's dino food. Let me guess. You have a plan. Yeah, well, turns out these things are worth a lot of money to the right people. I mean, a lot. You going along with her? Hey, I'm not doing anything unless you're down. But come on, Oscar. Do you really think InGen gives a rat's ass about us? Look what happened to B-Team, to Decaf. Their families are gonna get a puny check, a gag order, and nothing else. You're pretty self-righteous for a thief. I wouldn't be a thief if you hadn't stolen this island from my people in the first place. I didn't steal anything. The Costa Rican government rented this place to InGen. And you did their dirty work, didn't you? I did my job, just like I'm doing now. Really? And how many people are you going to kill today? You shut the hell up, or I'll start counting with you. Whoa, whoa, no fighting. Save it for the dinos, huh? Do I gotta remind you we're working against the clock? There's no time to save these people and be her errand boys before this place turns to ground zero. You mean ground zero? Nothing. We could do it, Oscar. We've got a call for another helicopter anyway, so one of us takes the eggheads back to the mainland and the other takes her to meet her contact. Let me guess. That last part would be up to you. You just tell Injian that I bought it like the rest of the guys they sent. Then you and I hook up later to split our cut. I trust you. But I don't trust her. I don't know, Billy. InGen throws a lot of work our way. Not sure I want to burn that bridge. I understand, but we're talking about a retirement level payout here. Look, you don't have to decide now. Plenty of time before we call for another chopper. All right, let's move out. Take it slow and quiet. So I'm guessing Yoder or Oscar here. Sorry. Uh, well, let's not start. I'm guessing there was something where I they were paid opinion, to get rid of Jerry. people on the island Although, before be they honest, made it the park. I'm a little surprised at your lack of regard for the animals. It's not that I don't care about them, Laura. It's just there are so many unintended consequences that come with your decision. Uh, why do you guys sneak off? This is how you this get eaten. Shift. We need contingency plans. We'll need to monitor things outside of the Especially when it's dark. Where is it? I know it. 
<laughs> yes. Oh, you can. I hope she's forklift sortified. Key. Yes. Reverse. That's one. Come on, stay with me. Oh, we didn't. Ooh. Take care of business. Your last friend wasn't so lucky. I guess he's just made he just got that raptor a name. Alright. What the amazing I ain't gonna name I've it. I've never seen them afraid before. You're getting good at this, Jess. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. That was awesome. Uh no problem. Okay, hon. Let the man breathe. Yoder! You're alive! We're alive? I'm surprised you guys lasted five minutes without me and Oscar. Thank you. Forget it. Oh my god, you're bleeding! Are you okay? No worries. Belongs to one of them. You killed one of them? With a knife? That's so badass. Well, hey, I outran a T-Rex. It's nothing. Just another fight. But they're so strong. I mean, how did you... How much can you lift? I wouldn't know. Not really a gym kind of guy. You're not? Dude, you're huge. Well, just because I don't work out doesn't mean I don't work. He just doesn't want to admit to his Sasquatch heritage. Who was it again? Granddad? Great-granddad. Maybe it was your mother. <laughs> okay, stop him now. You aren't fooling me. What now? You can pretend to be a hero all you want, but we both know what you really are. You're right. We do. What's going on? Everyone, we have a problem. What's wrong, Laura? You've seen the flickering lights, now the steam eruptions. Something's gone wrong with the island's geothermal power plant. That's not our problem. When the power plant explodes, it will be. It's that bad? Everything I've read about the system says it's supposed to shut itself down if something goes wrong with the steam pressure. The fact that it hasn't means that the pressure will build unchecked. It'll pop like a balloon and take half the island with it. Can we get to the power plant from here? I'm completely turned around. Yes, I've been here before. It's down this way. We really ought to get moving. How can we stop the power plant from exploding? We have to do something, and quickly, but I won't know exactly what until we get there. No time. Say goodbye to your dinosaurs, Doc. You can dig up the fossils later. When the power plant explodes, it'll take us with it. Unless you have a spare helicopter ready to lift off. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. Listen up. You're gonna show me the corridor that goes to the power plant. I'm gonna scout ahead and make sure there's no dinosaur party happening when we get there. Can I come? I know I can help. You're staying right here where I can keep an eye on you. Hey, I saved you, remember? Besides, those things are afraid of him. You wandered off, Jess. Oscar doesn't mind, do you? He's already Oscar? gone. He Batmaned you. When I saw the helicopter crash into the jungle, I thought you guys were goners. 
We're fine. Hey, uh, uh, about before, the hostage thing? I'm sorry. I was only trying to protect myself. Me and the mercs, we worked it out. Worked it out? How? Don't worry about it. We're okay. For now. That's great! So everyone's friends now, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't put it like that. Then how would you... <gasps> no way! Did you guys make out? We've decided that we can She just together. jumps to conclusions. Let's put it that way. Hey, Oscar's back. What'd you find, buddy? That is All like... Is clear, but the door to the plant is locked. <laughs> Don't that just low poly. Either you got a key? I'm afraid not. How about a smoke? I wish. I swore I had some on me, but... Jess? Something to share? I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to borrow them. But, but then a dinosaur was there, and I threw them, and I think it ate them. Jessica Marie Harding! First, you get caught stealing a t-shirt from the mall. Then you steal binoculars from the park and lie about it to my face. Now you've taken Laura's cigarettes? You let the raptors get to us because you wanted to smoke? I, I was all nervous and, and anxious and stuff, and I thought it would help. That's not the point. It's not just the smoking, it's, it's stealing. It's not listening. Rem Remember, the main reason you're on this island is because your mother thinks I might be able to straighten you out. Somehow. Right. Not because you want to see me or anything. Look, you don't have to worry about me, Dad. I'm almost 15. I can take care of myself. I don't need you or Mom or anyone. Oh, honey, I know it feels like that. Especially at your age. But you're not an adult. You might be a young woman. Uh, uh, physically. But emotional maturity uh, takes time. Okay? I'm sorry, Dad, but how many times have you been married? Your kids? Have you even talked to Sarah lately? This year even? Should you be lecturing anyone about emotional maturity? Damn, burn. Uh, plants Dude, gonna blow, right? Just stay we out of it. got time for this after school special crap. That is really not fair, Jess. Okay. That then. It may lead to the other side of the door. Hate to break it to you, Doc, but ain't none of us fitting through there. Maybe. Is the door locked? It's locked, all right. Thanks for double checking. Situations like this make me glad I never had kids. I haven't seen my daughter in almost six months. Oh. Well, you know what? I can't bail you out if you get us eaten by dinosaurs. Don't leave Jerry, my sight until please? we're off the island. Uh, you aren't even listening to me. So you're Jerry, smoking please. now. I what really else are you doing? To I don't know about. You. What? Mom didn't tell you I was stripping? All right, enough. I apologize. I'm sorry. Jess, we will finish this later. How can I help? We have a situation. The only way around the door to the power plant is that vent. And Jess is the only one of us who might fit inside. Absolutely not. My daughter has clearly shown that she can't be trusted with her own safety. She doesn't leave my sight from now on. We're just gonna have to find another salute. Jess? Jesse? Jess? It's okay. Pretty sure the dinosaurs haven't been using that vent. What vent? What? What dinosaurs? Oh my god. Jess. Just as soon as he took his well eye done, off her. Jess. Thanks. Okay, listen up. We need to release the steam pressure to prevent any more buildup. What are we looking for? A power console. And probably a master release valve. Look, Dad, I'm sorry. I was just trying to... You were just trying to ignore everything I said. Now just stay where I can see you this time. Okay. I will. I mean it. Sorry. See that large valve wheel up there? I think that's the pressure release we're looking for. I'll handle it. Okay. I bet there's other stuff I have to do first. 
Wait until I turn the power off to release the pressure. Otherwise, the system won't properly reset. Got it. Turn off the power. Look at all those transformers. The plant produces enough power to run a small city. Do I have to go up? Yeah, I bet that's what it is. That's that where it is. That looks like the power console. Up there, at the top of the ladder. All right. Looks like we press to open the circuit in order to turn the power off. Here goes nothing. Press to open. That does make sense. It does now. We can't pump the capacitor until the steam is vented. Too risky. So I've killed the power, right? <sighs> Hold up, I wonder. Yeah, I can ask Oscar or Yoda to help. Could you guys give me a hand with this valve? It won't budge. Sure, we open pickle jars too. I really hope we got the power okay. turned on. Three. Off. One, two, three. <laughs> 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 We got this! Oh, I mean stop! It shouldn't take that much force to turn the valve. There must be some kind of motorized assist for it. If you force it, you could break something. I'll have a look. If there is a motor, you'll need to disconnect it before it'll turn manually. Okay. I'm glad that lava flow is so far below us. Any closer and the heat would be unbearable. That compartment there. That could house the motor we're looking for. I'll check it out. Okay. Oh, the raptors are gonna show up. The motor's fried. Burnt out. It's probably this. Okay, I found what's holding the motor in. Great, but we don't have any tools. Don't need any. It's just a latch. That's handy. I guess the need to yank that thing out in a hurry was anticipated. At least somebody thought something through. Perfect. Let's try it again. Okay. That's it. The steam has been vented. All we need now is to turn the power back on. Okay, so then we go back over to you. We prime it. We don't want to close the circuit without charging the capacitor first. You, uh, need any help? I'm quite capable, thank you. One. Two. Three. Four. Is that the... It's the press to close light. It means the charge is pumped. Right. I'm going to close the circuit and turn the power back on. Please don't blow up, please don't blow up, please don't blow up. I think you'll find we have nothing to worry about. What's happening? Laura? Nothing to worry about, huh? It's all right, everyone. It's just a fail-safe measure to protect the plant. We probably set it off when we disconnected the motor or something else. Everything is just fine. Are you sure? If about you that. Say so. Raptors! Run for the 
Fire Nima before they can cut you off. I'm sorry. Ooh. Got to focus up here. Make sure I don't miss anything. The door controls. They're completely fried. Thank you. Can't these doors be open manually? I'm afraid not. The only way we can get them open is by using the controls by the doors where we came in. I'm on it. What? No, Oscar. Don't worry, that's suicide. He's right. The raptors wouldn't have come back if they were still afraid of you. I'll just have to give them a new reason to be scared, then. Can we at least talk about this? You know damn well I'm the only one's got a chance to get to that control panel. Maybe, but who says you have to go alone? I do. Look, Billy, we gotta get these people out of here. I figure they got no chance with both of us gone. Crap. Okay, I want everyone to hang tight while I figure this out. You're going to be fine. What's the plan? Working on it. I'll let you know. I could get down that way. I've made jumps that wide before. All right. I want you to tempt those raptors by creeping down the ladder. Oh, okay. Before, I thought you were nuts, but that sounds like a great plan. You got something better? You can always throw the doctor lady down there. That would distract them. Don't go. You could die. Don't count me out yet. I got a feeling we're going to lose Yoder. Or not Yoder, uh, Oscar. Version, I keep getting their names mixed up. Least. Got it. Hey. Thanks. <sighs> we got this. He makes it back. Ooh, I don't Try think. Try not to worry. The man has skills. I thought you hated him. But I respect his ability. If anyone can do this, he can. As long as Billy keeps on tempting him. Maybe? Oscar! Company! Hey! Hey, hey, check this out, huh? Nice, tasty drumstick. Too slow, you dumb lizard. Actually. That's it. Just keep focused on Billy. Okay. Gotta make a run for it. No choice. You want some of what your buddy had? Behind you! I didn't see that that second one barely popped up. Oh, you know what it was? It was probably a hold and then hit. It's it quite literally pops up and then is an insta fail. Like what the heck? Run, Oscar! Come on, Oscar. 
Oscar, get up, get up! Come on, Oscar, hit the button! Hit the button! No! You're just telling me this raptor figured out how to parkour up here? Lost Oscar. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that because he felt like he was the only good one. Billy here seems a little bit like a sleazy guy. I feel like he's gonna double cross everybody. There's no lock. Help! Get ready. <laughs> Why are they turning what around? There? That was their fear response. Something about this place scares them. But even if they weren't scared, you look ready to hold them off. Thanks. I'm glad I didn't have to. Are you okay, Billy? What the hell do you think? What Oscar did was very brave. When we get back, we're gonna make sure he is duly recognized for his- You think I care about that crap? Let's just give him some space. Five minutes! Just- just give me five minutes and I'll be fine! I know what you people think of us. Bunch of blue-collar grunts, right? Bunch of high school dropouts? We're replaceable? We don't think that! We don't! Tell him! Oscar was worth a thousand of you, but he knew it, and he still died to save your ass. So don't tell me how you're gonna honor him. You don't deserve okay, to. Okay, okay. What can we do? Nothing. I said I'll be fine, remember? All I need is space. I know we've got a lot on our minds, but whatever spooked those raptors might be nearby. Laura's right. I need everyone to be alert while she and I search the room. What is that? It smells like the jungle. Only more rotten. Oh, there's a person. Jess, you don't want to see this. Nima, could you? Yeah. Come with me, Jess. Try not to look, okay? This guy's dressed a lot like you, Billy. Does he have a tattoo on his arm? Like mine? Yes, yes he does. That's not good. Laura. Eggs. It is a nest. I thought the structure looked like the nest of a cassowary. Maybe an emu. But without eggs, I couldn't be sure. Yes, but... They're inside him. If you'd asked me five minutes ago, I'd have told you such behavior didn't exist outside of class and secta, but Whoa. now... He's a human being. I I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. My God, oh, he's alive! His pulse is faint, but it's there. Look for bite marks. Bite marks? Yes, yes, they look just like... Just like the ones Nima had, I know. He's alive, but only technically. He's paralyzed and almost certainly brain dead. This is the Venom's final stage. What the hell's going on over there? Is he alive or not? He's alive, but in a comatose state. Something has laid eggs in his abdomen. 
Something what? This is like the going like is being kept alive by a dark. I'm sorry. The victim is Daniel Kafaro, another throwaway grunt. Oh my God, I knew they'd gotten out somehow, but I never thought. Knew about this? You knew? <sighs> I'll kill you. And Billy's temper just flared up. But that is going to be the end of this episode here. So I believe next episode here is called The Survivors. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be dealing with the aquatic exhibit. So, yeah. But if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying the episode, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, this has been Gunshy Mori signing out. Peace.